Totaling season is crazy. Mick Cronin, even crazier. Three, maybe more commits with his latest coming from Oklahoma State. You are locked on UCLA, your daily podcast on the UCLA Bruins. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome, everybody, to the Locked On UCLA podcast. I am your host, Zach Anderson Yoxheimer. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Locked On UCLA. It's brought to you by FanDuel. And thanks for becoming a supporter and every day or Thanks for watching as we're in the midst of the transfer portal season. If you're an everyday, like, comment, subscribe, review. Thanks for your support. Where we start today is the Bruins got another commit for Mick Cronin and company. That's three commits. Yeah, there we go. Get down the camera. Three commits for UCLA. Already, Sky Clark, Kobe Johnson. One was expected when you were going after a guard. Kobe Johnson seemingly came out of nowhere, but is a good fit, I think, for the Bruins. And then UCLA... Wanted to go after someone who can fit the, ad, the athletic, someone who can stretch the floor a little bit, power forward. And that is Eric Daly Jr. I already talked about him. He had his official visit over the weekend, was crystal ball to UCLA. And so far, the last couple of crystal balls to the Bruins and Mick Cronin have been right on the money. Daly commits. It, it seemed like it was only a matter of time. You could go read reports, go look at the numbers. UCLA didn't get a lot of production out of the four spot, mostly because Cronin didn't know what to do with Bedeke, if he can mix Bona in a die, if if it was Brandon Williams, maybe he wanted a small ball four. The Bruins just did not have what it took to have anybody get any production from the four last year. And while we're still waiting to see what the rest of the freshmen, what the rest of the bigs decide to do, after a dim Bona leaves, that leaves with the current the current commit of Eric Daly Jr., UCLA has two scholarship spots available. But we're talking about Daly, who comes in and is athletic, can stretch the four, the floor, I should say, as a potential four. I still see opportunities for Cronin with what he showcased to use him as a small ball five in quite a few lineups. Whether that sticks, I don't know. I just would like to believe that UCLA would use him as a five at some point during the season in 24 and 25. Is he a prototypical four, someone who could stretch, athletic? can hopefully have a good impact defensively. Certainly, about nine points, close to four to five boards a game at Oklahoma State. One of the Cowboys who hit the portal and the Bruins go after him. Could certainly be a nice fit in a spot where UCLA didn't have a lot of production. But with Bona gone, and, one, and we wonder what, what's going to happen. Is it one of the youngsters going to step up in a starting five role? noob has gone. He's graduated. Not that he would fill Bona's shoes, but that's your starter, your backup, and you're waiting for the other guys to jump into a role. Mick Cronin's got to go after more guys, but I do think Daly can certainly slot in and be that small ball five. Cronin's gone there before. We've seen it. Cody Riley, who's a little bit taller, slightly bigger than Daly. Daly fits more the body of a four than the wide, stronger Riley, but probably as much better shooting touch than Riley does from deep with a 33% shot from three. UCLA didn't shoot the ball well. So anybody who is athletic can play D, can dominate down low and stretch the floor shooting the basketball is going to be an improved presence from what UCLA had a year ago. And it seems like Daly checks a lot of those boxes, a guy who can score close to 10 points per game. I wonder what his role will be like for UCLA. Can go hopefully hammer on the boards and be an improved presence for UCLA defensively at this specific spot, get some rebounds, and stretch the floor shooting the ball. All things UCLA needed, and if Daly can defend, UCLA is asking a lot out of their players next year, especially in the post. Can they defend? Now, I'm not sure Daly is going to be in a Dembona-like elite defender right away. I'm not really sure. i got to do a little more research in that, but there's not really going to be another Dembona right now. There's nobody going to replace that heart hustle and defense that he has with him declaring to go to the NBA draft after two years. So it's up to the collective as a team for UCLA to figure out how this team can play defensively. And Bailey, uh, Daly, I should say, Eric Daly, has the ability with the athleticism and has, I think, a lot of intangibles that can help UCLA. But what's interesting, after Mick Cronin has kind of shied away from the portal and stayed away, went with the big freshman class, he said, literally, screw it. I'm going after guys in the portal. I do not care. 
I wonder how much of his ego t- took a hit going after not going after guys in the portal. Not that he maybe did it, and he talked a lot about the NIL budget not being there, right? Maybe he could have got some home run hits, you know, get some home run splashes, get some big splashes, right? When it comes to guys in the portal a year ago, now the Bruins, I believe, have that NAL budget. I've kind of read that a little bit more and more. And UCLA is going to get guys that they want. And I've read even from Bro Report, they continue to push Dominic Harris from LMU as a potential fourth commit. And we're waiting. All right, there's two more scholarship spots. That means probably the Bruins are going after a center. They went after guards. They're needing an elite shooter who doesn't need the ball in his hands all the time. Someone to upgrade the four, maybe a small ball five that can shoot a little bit. Now the Bruins might go after a big time center with all this later coaching switch through the coaching carousel, right? You see the Kentucky guys moving. You see the Arkansas guys moving. The USC guys, everybody's moving around. Where does Mick Cronin go next? Well, for now, he's got the three guys from the portal. And the focus has shifted away from maybe international freshman recruiting, trying to develop the guys he currently has. Who is still going to be there? And how does Daly, Sky Clark, and now Kobe Johnson, those three, play a part? Which is interesting. One seven freshman in class and a newcomer a year ago. And there still might be five newcomers the next year with a lot of guys with eligibility left from the previous season. That's just how volatile roster construction is from year to year in college basketball. It just, there's nothing to compare to it in this day and age. And I think Mick Cronin says, I'm done. His ego had to have taken a hit, not making the tournament, being under 500, being at UCLA, building something, and then going downhill. After unfortunately seeing Arizona continue to be, all right, they lose in the Sweet 16, but they're getting there. UCLA wants to get to that point again and consistently be there. And I believe Mick Cronin, you can have a one down, one down year, but of course he's so competitive. He said this in his press conferences, how much it hurts him when he loses. And this year was certainly a very tough year for UCLA. Not the worst, but it was tough during long stretches when we knew they could have been better, had opportunities, but in the end they were who they were, close enough but not good enough. And now Cronin wants to not just be close enough, he wants to be good enough and better than most of the teams in the country. You're going to the Big Ten. you got a national opportunity now to be on better primetime games, not locked on late-night Pac-12 network basketball games where you're playing good teams. You're just not going to get shown. Now the Bruins have the opportunity to once again be in the national spotlight, not like they haven't been, the name's there, but to reignite the flame that is the UCLA basketball glory days. And Corona is doing that specifically through the portal, trying to keep the guys he likes, the Stefanoviches for another year, the Dylan Andrews is for another year, right? The Sebastian Max for a year. Go grab those guys, a score from Louisville, get somebody. All right, I, Corona grew up in that side. He knows how to go recruit that part of the country. Basketball crazy. Let's get a guy. Oh, let's get a big-time leader from across town. Let's go get a shooter. Let's get a big man who can guard. Let's get a big man who can shoot a little bit. And Cronin is specifically finding guys he wants, and I wonder how much he may or may not miss this year. The freshman recruiting last year, how was the development? Maybe a bit too much to ask him to develop seven freshmen in an older era of college basketball. Now he's going after the older players, and we can see teams, sometimes they fall, but there are a lot of teams that can turn over a roster and become elite via the portal. And the Bruins Bruins got that level of, roster returnees and you mix in some portal talent maybe they gel boom this team could be something next year and it's not even done cronin still has two more spots to give out two more they only had one high school signee this year with eric freeney coming to town and a specific walk-on given to robert ori's son now this is interesting. Complete shift in the recruiting style for Cronin. Maybe it's just this year only. Or he's opening up all his avenues. Global recruiting, local recruiting, national recruiting, stealing players from across town, stealing players from other top-tier universities. That is the game that has to be played. It's a full-time job, and Cronin is getting big-time hits. And I think Daly will fit as well. You can go look at the other outlets. They are talking about how Daly is a big-time get. And there's still more to happen, which is why we should be excited. And you should follow Locked On UCLA for more. Whether it's Dominic Harris, his bro report 
reports, Bruno Report Online says, hey, he's practically on the verge of committing. That's what they say from 24-7 Sports. Nothing just yet in terms of official, as the recording of this podcast. And then all the eyes and the signs are shifting towards who is going to be that big man the Bruins go after, whether it's an elite starter or someone to add depth in the post. Those are all the things to focus on for UCLA McCronin coming up as the portal season gets crazy. Football, we're going to talk about that with Deshaun Foster's wish list in the next episode. McCronin's wish list for the rest of his recruiting needs to fill his roster spots if he wants to have a complete scholarship maxed out roster and for maximum success next year. All that more. Hit the download button, subscribe, like, and comment on this show. And spring games coming up, nighttime practices. Everything is going crazy, and Charisma Osborne was drafted. We'll get all that in later Locked On UCLA episodes next year on the podcast. Do you have that competitive side? Are you the biggest fan? Are you competitive even at home? I'm certainly competitive, and my whole family, friends, everybody would say that's true. Because if you do, then you probably have you like to play games. And for me, I'm a big fan of Monopoly Go. I'm sure you've heard of it, right? It's been downloaded over 150 million times. A great twist on Monopoly. I love the game, but even love all the twists and turns as well because you can not only play not one but hundreds of Monopoly boards in crazy locations, building up amazing cities, giving you big money. And the best part, you can mess with your friends. You can charge them rent on iconic properties like Classic Monopoly, and rob their vaults for riches for myself. And it's just not the competitive side that I love about it. You can team up with friends and people all around the world in time tournaments to hu- earn huge rewards. So get up in the game store, check it out, and go to App Store, Google Play Store, download Monopoly Go now free. Go download Monopoly Go free on the App Store and Google Play Store and have some fun. To wrap up this episode of Locked On UCLA Podcast, I'm your host, Zach Anderson Doxheimer, saying so long. Get your hands up, Bruins fans, because it is eight clap time. The Bruins got their third commit via the portal. Hands up. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. U C L A. U C L A. Fight, fight, fight. This has been Locked On UCLA. The portal is open. The show is ending. We are unlocking the next potential. Get ready for a fun, full episode-filled week talking about UCLA sports here on Locked on UCLA. Zach signing off. Go Bruins.